Welcome to Rhonda here with Foods 101. Today I'm showing you how to make this pumpkin cake with a cream cheese frosting. I know I've been showing you a lot of pumpkin recipes lately, but I'm hoping it's fulfilling your pumpkin recipe wish list. The ingredients you're going to use to make this cake is two cups of all-purpose flour, one cup of canola oil, and if you'd like to use vegetable oil, you may, one cup of lightly packed brown sugar, one 15 ounce can of your 100% pure pumpkin. Very important for this cake. Four eggs at room temperature, a half a cup of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of pure vanilla extract, two teaspoons of baking powder, a half teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of salt. For the spices, I'm using two teaspoons of your ground cinnamon, one half teaspoon of ground ginger, one half teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and one fourth teaspoon of your ground clove. These spices are a perfect combination for this pumpkin cake. For the frosting, you're gonna need three to three and a half cups of powdered sugar, one eight ounce block of your full fat cream cheese at room temperature, one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, one stick of butter at room temperature, this is a half a cup or eight tablespoons, and one fourth teaspoon of salt to really pop the flavor on your cream cheese frosting. Let me show you how we're gonna get this cake batter together. In a medium mixing bowl, I'm adding that flour with the salt, baking powder, baking soda, along with all of our spices. Ooh, mm, I got a whiff of that cinnamon and ginger. Oh my goodness, that smells fantastic. With a whisk, you're just gonna incorporate all these dry ingredients until they're very well blended, and that looks great. We're gonna sit this off to the side. In a larger bowl, I'm adding all that pumpkin, the sugars, and of course the brown sugar. I like to Break it down before I add it. The oil, vanilla extract, and the four eggs. Mix these together using a hand mixer or a whisk, whatever you'd like. We wanna incorporate all of our wet ingredients until they're very well combined. Add those dry ingredients back into our pumpkin mixture here. Whisk this around until those dry ingredients are just incorporated with our wetting ingredients and looking like this. You want it nice and smooth. You don't want any lumps in your pumpkin cake batter. I've greased and floured my pan, but if you want to use a spray, you may do that. And we're going to add that cake batter into the bottom of this 13 by 9 inch pan. I use a spatula to make sure I get all that pumpkin cake batter out of there. Just make sure you spread it over to corner to corner. And I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Off to the oven on the middle rack for 30 to 35 minutes. Use your timer and no peeking. Pumpkin cake has baked. If you could be here in my kitchen to smell how fabulous this cake is. Wish I could drill a little hole through the camera here. The cinnamon and nutmeg and ginger. Now I'm using a toothpick. I'm inserting it into the cake. If the toothpick had cake batter on it, we put it back in the oven for about two or three more minutes, but it's perfectly baked. Cool your cake about 45 minutes to an hour before frosting. Time to make this frosting. I'm adding my three cups of powdered sugar here into a large mixing bowl. Add the salt, your room temperature butter. You see how nice and soft that is? That is what you're looking for. Adding that room temperature cream cheese and as you can see I've cubed it before adding it just makes it a lot easier to mix and your pure vanilla extract with a hand mixer you're gonna mix this till it's nice creamy and smooth and looking light and fluffy like that oh yummy this is gonna be fantastic on the top of that pumpkin cake I'm smothering that cool pumpkin cake with our cream cheese frosting take this corner to corner this is an excellent dessert to take to a large gathering such as an office party or a church gathering or whatever else you can think of. If you want to cool your cake a little faster, you can go ahead and put it in the refrigerator for about a half an hour and it'll cool down very quickly. Another way to add a little bit more fall to the top of your pumpkin cake is to add your mellow cream pumpkins or candy corn if you wish. With a serrated knife, that's a knife with little teeth, you can cut whatever size you wish. And if you'd like the frosting to sit up a little bit more, you can put it in the refrigerator 
about an hour before cutting into it, but I love the frosting nice and creamy. Let me show you what this beautiful cake is going to look like on the inside. Oh my, that screams pumpkin cake with cream cheese frosting. It smells fantastic. I'll add it right here. If you'd like, go ahead. Add one of your mellow cream candies and I think that that gives a lovely presentation when you get ready to serve your pumpkin cake here. Okay, gotta give it a try. Oh my, look how lovely and moist that cake is. Oh wow. Mm. The spices, nutmeg, cinnamon, a little hint of ginger. Wow. You will not be disappointed in this pumpkin cake with cream cheese frosting. Look how lovely and moist that cake is. Mmm. Wow. We got a little bit of that clove too. And that cream cheese frosting. You are not going to go wrong with this pumpkin cake. It screams happy fall. I'm Deronda with Foods 101. And looky there on the inside of that cake. Oh, and it serves many, many individuals. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Follow me here on YouTube and Instagram. And I'll catch you lovely people later.